Hello Capsuleers, uh, my name is Ransu Asanari. I'm uh, the CEO of Powder and Ball Alchemist Union and I'm doing a video on hunting in wormholes. So welcome to the Shattered Wormholes. This is a wormhole that's not allowed any posses or uh, anyone to basically set up home. And I've already scanned down all the signatures in here and I had already run across a couple of people uh, seeing them on D-scan, seeing probes out. Um, so as you can see here in the probe window, everything's already pre-scanned at 100%. Uh, that makes it easier for you to narrow down where people are. I'm using a tool called Pirate's Little Helper uh, to de-scan down this confessor. That's popped up on scan. And I'm entering in all the signatures, and now it's basically using the de-scan window to uh, narrow down which site he's in. Uh, so Pirate's Little Helper will lie to you sometimes if it doesn't have exactly the right information. Uh, so it's always good to manually confirm. So what I'm doing here is doing a 15 degree scan of the planet and the signature that he's on uh, to make sure that he is in fact there. So as you can see it's a, a ruined Blood Raiders relic site uh, around planet 4 and the confessor is there. So I'm warping to the site at 100 kilometers uh, and that's just to kind of check things out, see how far along he is, if, uh, if I need to wait and there's a lot of other uh, preparation steps and tactics you can take uh, to give yourself a better chance of, uh, of getting a, a tackle on him. So now that we have landed, we can see that he is actually running the site in a confessor, and we can get his character name, and that's fairly powerful information. Uh, we can take a look at his uh, employment history. We can see he's only about a three-month-old character, so his skills aren't going to be very good. And we can check his kill board uh, to see if he's an active PvPer. Now, in this case, because he's only three months old, there's not a lot there. There's no kills yet. Uh, so definitely worth a try. I mean, the Confessor's sort of an odd choice, but I guess if you're going to go into a shattered wormhole, that's probably the best ship you can bring. And just bring a mobile depot to change out what you need. So from here, I'm not able to warp down uh, to the cans uh, in the site. Uh, so the first thing I have to do is to make a perch uh, bookmark more than 150 kilometers away. And that'll let me warp to any of the cans that he's doing. And that gives me more time to, to set up for him. Uh, so the first thing I do here is bookmark the spot that I'm at, which is the 100 kilometer warp in. And I warp back to the wormhole or a celestial at 100. And then back to that bookmark at 100. And that gives you a bookmark uh, spot that's uh, more than 150 kilometers uh, from those cans. Because you can warp to the cans directly, but you can't uh, save a bookmark on, directly on them. So right now I'm just adding this perch into my, uh, my little folder. And I can look at the kind of from the vantage point that I'm at, I can see the next can that he'll most likely be doing. So I'm going to warp down to that at 10. Uh, so I can creep up on him. And I'm not going to decloak and try to get him right away because the Astero has a 5 second uh, decloak delay, uh, which means as, as you decloak you're not able to target anything for 5 seconds. So I'm going to get a little bit closer to him. You can see he's already starting to scan and hack this can, so I have to be fairly quick. But I want to be within 10 kilometers of him so that as I land, I'll be immediately in scram range. So I'm going to bookmark this spot, and then I'm going to warp off again, off-grid. And what this will let me do is uh, I can get rid of that 5 second decloak delay, and as long as he's not really paying attention to descan, which he probably isn't while he's hacking, uh, I'll be able to land without having that uh, delay active. I've also had to fix some modules here and check the confessor's resist profile while I was at work. So I've landed perfectly, landed within 3,000 meters of him. Got a scram and web on him, no problems there. A little bit of an issue getting all my drones out, that's okay. Now we're seeing he's going about 2,400 meters per second, even with the webs, and he slows down to about 1,700, 1,500. And this is a bit of a problem, because he's probably 10 in NAD fit, and I'm not able to keep up with him without pulsing my mic warp drive. And that's a problem for me, because it's, every time I pulse my micro-warp drive, it's blowing up my signature, which makes me easier to hit. So I'm taking far too much damage, and my ancillary wrapper is running out of charges, and I'm not actually breaking him at all. Uh, 
so I start looking for an exit. Now, if he had a point here, probably would have killed me. He volleyed me into about 24% structure here, and uh, my last charge goes off just as I warp off. So I've made it out, uh, but uh, there's definitely one thing left to get that I forgot. Now this is a bit uh, of a risk warping back in at this range. Usually once you let them go, they warp off immediately, but in this case he didn't. And he looks like he's going to scoop my drones, but we're not going to have any of that. So I warp back to the relic perch that I made earlier, and I decloak and recall my drones. So that was a fairly good fight. Um, it could have gone either way. It was a risky one to take, but I'm glad I tried it. And I hope this video shows you some t uh, some tactics that you can use when you're hunting at wormholes uh, to get your targets. And thanks. I'll see you next time.